Watch you guys got another video here for you. Bring new life back to an old computer. That's what we're going to be doing in this video. As you can see, I've got a pretty beat up computer here. Case looks a bit sorry for itself. Uh, loads of dust build up inside here. So what we're going to do is literally remove all of the components out of this, put it into a new case. This case does have some damage on here, uh, a missing leg at the back and also some broken bits on top and the front of the case is not clipped in correctly. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and remove the glass side panel here and take a closer look inside. And if you keep your cases on the floor, what's going to happen is it's going to suck in all of that dust. And as you can see here, there's a massive buildup of dust inside here. Now you could blow this out if you want to, but because we're replacing uh, this case and I'm going to clean all these components up, so there's not much point in blowing the uh, computer out because we are going to be removing all of the components and putting them into a new case. You can see the leg is missing at the back as well. And of course, this is uh, just really filthy inside. And this is what generally happens when you keep PCs on the floor. They will suck in all of the fluff on the carpet and dust build up, and it will end up looking like this. And this is what can happen. So you just really want to uh, keep PCs at least off the carpet by a good few inches there's also a big massive gouge down the side on this one here which needs uh obviously replacing so what we're going to do is completely remove all the parts so let's go ahead and strip this down and we can then clean some bits up and then put it into its new home so basically all i'm going to do here is go around and pull in all of the cables out here on the motherboard so i'm just going to deconnect everything here and uh, remove the ram now i've got some uh Corsair 32 gigabytes of Corsair uh, Dominator RAM here. So what I'm going to do is put this to one side. Now the PC is not that old. It's got an i5 10400F in here. It's got a 1660 Super in here as well. And uh, what we're going to do is just remove all of these bits here. Now the motherboard in here is pretty good. So the CPU could be upgraded to 11th gen processor and you can put a bigger processor in here. That's what this motherboard warrants, really, because it is a very good board. So the system can be fully upgraded. It does have 32 gigas of RAM in here as well. So what I'm going to do is remove the CPU cooler first, and I'll remove that graphics card, and we can then start at stripping this down. So I think I'm just going to replace all of the uh, fans here as well, and these need a, deep, a good deep clean, so I'm not going to spend my time doing this um, I've got a case with some fans in it already. So you can see this needs a bit of a clean up as well. It's not too bad. It just needs a light blowout and a, a rub down with some alcohol to clean it up. And then everything can be reused. So let me just put this to one side and remove the fan off the CPU cooler here. I've got the graphics card out. And I'm just going to remove this fan here. I've already pulled the little clips off. I'll just leave it there for now until I remove the actual cooler here. So I just need to get access to the screws on the other side here and we can remove this from the PC. Now I want to remove this because I want to clean up the thermal compound and also clean the fan on the CPU cooler and drop a bit of oil in there because it was making a bit of a whining noise. So that needs a good clean up so I can reuse that in this uh, build. Now a thing I've noticed over the years is when people are selling PCs, especially used PCs online, a lot of people don't put no time and care into uh, cleaning up their PC before they sell it. Maybe they're all excited because they bought a new PC. And now they just want to offload their old PC. But you're going to get more money and you will get a faster sale if you uh, take a bit of time to cleaning it all up and removing all of the dust and, and do a bit of cable management and make it look a little bit more nicer uh, for people to look at. And that way... Uh, people will then generally uh, buy that PC a lot quicker and you'll probably get a little bit more money for it. So I'm just going to remove the screws here for the motherboard and we can remove the motherboard. I'm trying to get all this out without removing all the fans and stuff like that. I'm trying to do this as quick as possible with as little effort put it in. I'm just going to have to remove these top fans here because they are in the way and uh, I need to remove these. And then this case can be really sort of thrown out really. So let's go ahead and remove these. So now we can uh, remove the motherboard from the case here. I'm just trying to get rid of these uh, fans here. They're in the way. 
So I'm trying to do as little effort here to get this motherboard out because I'm really not interested in the actual case itself. So what I want to do here is just try and get this motherboard out. And there's cables holding it in and stuff like that. So I just need to tuck those in and then we can release the motherboard. So there you go. You can see the dust falling off of it. And that's that out. And again, I need to pull out that power supply. But I've got another power supply in another case. So I'm just going to use that one and literally keep that other one as a spare. So let's go ahead and finish off this. So I need to remove some cables and stuff. But you can see the motherboard is pretty dirty and dusty, which does need a clean. And you can also see there's quite a lot of compound on that chip. And the reason for that is it's Arctic Silver. It does spread very uh, easily Arctic Silver, and you only need a small amount of it. Otherwise, it will spread a lot further than some of the other more thicker types of compound. So it has gone over the sides a little bit, so that will need to be cleaned up. A bit of isopropanol alcohol on there, and I'll just splodge a bit of that on, and we can then wipe all this off with a bit of a cloth. And uh, I'll try and get all this off in one go here. There we go. It's not vast amounts, but you can see there's it's gone over the edges really, and it just needs to be cleaned off. So I'm just going to remove this. And of course, it, it looks a bit worse because it does have that little ridge around the outside and it does get caked in there. So you can get a Q-tip in there and clean all that off if you wish. So I'm just going to spend a bit of time cleaning this off. And once I've got all this cleaned off, I'm just going to clean the motherboard off. Um, I'm going to use a brush to dust all the motherboard off and uh, we'll get that cleaned up. So first off, let me spray some of this stuff onto a bit of tissue here and try to clean this off a bit better here so I can uh, put some fresh compound on here. And again, you can use this on the uh, motherboard here. Be careful with the alcohol because it can uh, sort of taint the plastic a little bit and make it go a bit sort of frosty. So you don't really want to uh, use alcohol on plastics too much especially the high 99% stuff, it will sort of make it go a bit frosty. So what I'm going to do next is uh, clean up this uh, board here. I'm going to remove the chip from the board so I can get a cleaner uh, chip here. This does gets all around the edges here. Make sure the socket is okay. And also if the socket needs any sort of cleaning, if any sort of compounds gone in there, I will clean it with isopropanol alcohol. But everything seems to be okay here. So let's go ahead and clean up the board. I'm now thinking I should have took it outside and give it a quick blowout before uh, bringing it in here and cleaning it because it is pretty dusty. So I'm just going to clean all this off with a bit of alcohol here. And there we go. That's all cleaned up nice. Made sure there's no compound on the bottom of the processor. And now I need to clean up the motherboard. So what uh, sort of brush can you use here? Well, I'm using one of this really soft brush here just to clean off any sort of dust and debris. It would have been easier just to take it outside and blow it out first, and then I could have cleaned off any sort of leftover stuff here with a brush like this. But there isn't vast amounts on here, so I'll just go through and uh, clean this off like so, trying to remove any sort of dust from the board itself. So let's get the CPU back into the motherboard here. Now, I've not spent a bunch of time cleaning this chip to perfection with a Q-tip. There's not much point because there's going to be compound going back on it. And it's a little bit overkill. I see a lot of people doing that. There's, it's a bit pointless. As long as the top of the surface of it's cleaned, that's all that really matters really is a CPU at the end of the day. And it's going to have new compound put on it. So that's good enough for what we need here. Next up, get the WD-40 Specialist Contact Cleaner here. You can spray this onto any electrical components. It's rapid drying. And I'll spray this all over the motherboard here into the uh, USB uh, ports and Ethernet ports and stuff like that on the back IO shield, also on the uh, RAM slots as well. And it is liquid that's coming out, but it's rapid drying, as you can see here. And uh, basically, it will clean off any sort of grime and dust uh, on the actual board itself. And you can just wipe this down. Again, this is not a, a super deep cleanse. I don't have time to sit here for four days cleaning uh, someone's grimy PC up. As long as it's clean and tidy, it's going to get dusty again because it's a computer. That's basically what it's for. I've cleaned up the uh, CPU cooler fan here. I've put some fresh oil underneath these stickers here to make sure it's running nice and smooth. And uh, we can then put the compound on the chip. And this is the actual uh, fins here. You can see they're reasonably clean. It'll be good enough for what we want here. I've got MX5 here. So I'm just going to stick a bit of this onto the 
CPU, and then we're going to spread it out. Uh, Arctic uh, recommend that you spread this stuff out. And I've just gone and splodged it all down one side there, but don't worry, I'm just going to leave that as it is. And then we can put the cooler back on. So let's go ahead and put that back on. And then we get this screwed back down and we can then put the fan uh, back on. And I can give it a final blowout once we get all this done to remove any sort of micro dust that's fell back onto the board itself. And that's what I plan on doing with this particular build because it was so dusty. And again, some people might be meticulous in, you know, getting a cotton bud and going through every single inch of the actual um, motherboard or, or CPU and stuff like that. But as I've said before, this is a working system and it's going to get dusty. It's got electrical components in it. And as soon as you turn it on, it's going to start drawing air in from the room and it's going to go all inside the case. Unless you're willing to do a deep clean on it every single day, it's always going to get dirty. There's no way out of it. So it's a bit pointless, really. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the uh, fan on here. You can see it's not quite sitting well in there. So I just need to pull this back a little bit here. You need to make sure it's sitting right in that groove. There we go. And the fan is going to be nice and quiet now. I'm not going to be putting this RAM in. I'm going to keep this uh, back because I'm going to be selling this PC. And of course, I need to keep the cost down. So when people look at it and buy it, they're still getting a very good PC. Uh, it just means I can put it up for a lower price. If you start putting really sort of expensive components in, it's going to start driving that price up. And for the chip inside here, it just doesn't warrant it. It's got an i5 uh, 10400F and it's not going to warrant uh, extra money because of the RAM's expensive compared to this RAM. So I've got a case here already lying around. It's a bit overkill for uh, what this uh, chip is inside here, but it'll be good enough. It's the Leon Lee uh, Lancor Mesh 2, but it'll be okay. And uh, it's just sitting around, so I just want to uh, give it a new case and this will be good enough. So again, try to keep your costs down if you're trying to flip it because obviously having an expensive case means the price will have to go up to cover the cost of the case that you bought. And this will obviously deter people from wanting to buy it. This is why you see a lot of PCs online being sold with cheap £30 cases because they're trying to keep the cost down so they can make a bit of profit out of it. Whereas if you're using more expensive components and you start ramping the price up, people look at the spec and think, well, why am I going to pay all that money for an i5? You know, it's just the way it works. So we'll get the motherboard screwed in here. And once we get this uh, screwed in, I'll give this a fresh install of Windows and she should be ready to go. So let's go ahead and uh, screw this down. And then basically what I'll do is I'll put the graphics card in. I've done a bit of cable management here. You can see uh, it looks pretty clean. No wires are being shown here. So it's a, a pretty decent uh, cable management job here. It's all hidden behind these metal panels here. And all I've got to do is put the uh, graphics card in. You see that surface dust starting to land on here again because it's in this room. So what I'm going to do is blow this out one more time a little bit later on off camera. And it will just remove all of this little surface dust here from it. And again, there's a little teeny bit of tiny dust here laying back down onto the graphics card. But I'm not too worried about it because it is a used computer at the end of the day. So we're nearly here. Just going to put the graphics card back in. And then once we get this in, we can screw it in and we can uh, put in our cables. Now, it does have sleeve cables in here, uh, which are blue, gray and white, which will be obviously setting the RGB here to blue. And I've just give it a quick flick over with that little brush and it's already removed any of that surface dust that was uh, laying on to the case and stuff. So it does look a lot more uh, cleaner in here. Now, it does look a lot better than this, sorry, uh, PC that it was here inside here you can see it was damaged and it needed to be all replaced and that just looks really nasty compared to what it looks like now it looks a thousand times better than what it did before and again when it comes to selling it it will look a lot more pleasing to the eye to the person that wants to buy it it is a used computer because it has been used but when you clean it up like this it will easily sell compared to what it looked like before when it was in that grimy old case so that is the reason why you spend a bit of time at getting it nice and clean now i know the ram looks a bit white but it is actually blue it's just the camera that is not detecting it correctly uh, but it is nice and blue you can change it to whatever color you like but because the cable 
extensions are blue, gray, and white. I've decided to leave it as blue, and I think it looks pretty good, and someone will be very happy with this PC. So if you enjoy this type of content, check out my YouTube channel. I've got over 2,500 videos on here, all about technology on how to fix computers, how to build computers, and also how to remove malware and ransomware and other things like that. Also, while you're there, you might as well click the subscribe button and then click the bell and then click all to be notified when I upload new videos. If you want to support me a little bit more financially, you can click the join button and join my YouTube members group. I've got three tiers of support. You can choose which one suits your budget. You can cancel at any time and it's a great way of showing your appreciation to what I do here on YouTube. Anyway, that is going to be about it from me. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. If you have joined my Discord server and you're a YouTube member, let me know in the general chat and I'll give you the correct role for the tier that you've joined. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.